Hi, Professor Friedman here. Production Possibility Frontiers. They are one of the most important tools for orthodox economics, the basis of price theory. More important still, Production Possibility Frontiers, studying them gives you insight into the way that orthodox economists think about the world. You have a farm. Let's say this is your farm. You have a house over here. It's winter, so there's smoke coming out of the chimney. You have one window because the government taxes windows, so you don't put a lot of windows in your house. And here's you. You're smiling because it just snowed, and you can go cross-country skiing. You can grow different things on your farm. We're just supposing that there are really only two things you like to grow. Roses, because your lady love loves roses. So you grow roses, you give her roses. Poppies, because when your lady love is mad at you, all you can do is... Drug yourself into oblivion. Not a good strategy. Don't do things like that. But, okay, those are the two crops. Now, both of these crops require the same things. They both require land. Some land for roses. The rest for poppies. They both require water. So here you've got a watering can. Funny looking one, and here's the H2O water dripping out of your watering can. I'm really a lousy drawer. Um, they require labor. There you are, standing there, working away. Now you're frowning because you're working hard to make your farm grow things. Now, you can grow poppies and roses on different quantities of land. Now you're growing more roses. You can actually write the word. Fewer poppies. Hmm. Maybe you decided you don't like that arrangement. You want more roses. So now the roses are over there and you've got to relabel everything. Yeah. Down with poppies. You've decided you're going to be a lover, not a druggie. Good move. Now, you can represent your production in terms of numbers of roses and poppies. You can grow zero poppies, one, two, three, four, five. And for each quantity of poppies, you will grow different quantities of roses. Notice what happens. More poppies... Fewer roses. It's like a seesaw. The more you grow of poppies, the fewer roses. Poppies go down, roses go up. Poppies down, roses down, poppies up. Or the other way around. This table, put this into a graph. This graph is just the, what we were talking about. The number of roses goes, goes down. The number of poppies goes up. I should have labeled this. Poppies, roses. The production possibility frontier, that's this line. This line is a production possibility frontier. This shows the trade-off. Fewer roses, more poppies. The, the line of the production possibility frontier is the maximum you can have of either one. The most you can have of roses is 10. 
with zero poppies. You go along, the most poppies you can have is five with zero roses. You can't have more of both. Because we assume that you're going to be efficient, you're never in here. No! That's wasteful. Because you could have, yeah, like let's say you're here with two and four. You could have two and six or four and three. Why wouldn't you? So we assume that you're always out here. You're always out on the frontier. That shows along here. We can erase my mess. Maybe we can erase my mess. What happened to my eraser? What's my eraser? Okay, forget it. Um, but as you move along here, you give up roses to get poppies. You give up poppies to get roses. And the, the price of roses is the opportunity cost of roses. What do you have to give up to get roses? You have to give up poppies. What do you have to give up to get poppies? You have to give up roses. The way you're doing it, every poppy costs you two roses. And every rose costs you half a poppy. Top of the line with every poppy associated with giving up two roses. And every rose with giving up pity. Now, you have a friend who's better at growing poppies. Look where you could only grow five poppies if you had all your land and labor devoted to poppies, so no roses, you would have had only five, you would have had five poppies. That's you. You. You suck at growing poppies. Your friend, your friend grows ten. Friend. Good. At poppies. Yeah, there's your friend. Ooh, you, you can only grow five. She can grow ten. Her production possibility frontier is above yours. There's your friend. Look at that. Yeah, you can both grow ten roses, but your friend can keep on growing poppies. And actually, your friend's line would keep going all the way out to here to ten. Because she is so much better than you. Roses. Because she's better at growing poppies, roses cost her more. You, you give up half a poppy to get a rose. But because she's better at growing poppies, she actually has to give up one poppy for every rose. Poppies are more expensive for her. Uh, sorry, roses are more expensive for her because she's better at poppies. Poppies cost her less. She's better at growing poppies. She doesn't have to give up as many roses to get a poppy. But, but roses cost her more. You sell her roses because you give up fewer poppies to grow roses. You'll just concentrate on growing the thing you're relatively better at. She will grow poppies because she's better at those and she will buy poppies from, uh, buy roses from you and you will buy your poppies from her. Note, assumptions, and these are really important. The point of the whole exercise. There's a trade-off, because we're assuming that these are substitutes, but some things are complements. Notice with an E, not an I. Some things grow better together. Some things are produced better together. Sex and sleep. Good sex, sleep well. Well rested, more sex. Apples and honey. The bees who pollinate the apple trees make honey. For in these cases, the production possibility frontier is upward sloping. Here's the production possibility frontier for complements. Efficiency. The orthodox approach assumes that you're at the frontier. Because why wouldn't you be? 
Well, maybe you wouldn't be because you're stupid. Maybe you wouldn't be because you can't work well with others. All sorts of reasons in the nature of bad institutions could make it that you would not be on the frontier. If you're not on the frontier, then moving to the frontier would look like an upward sloping line. You stop fighting, you start having good makeup sex, and you get more sex, more sleep. Because you've moved, you're moving towards the frontier. That is production possibility frontiers. Thank you.